square, but just kind of scattered about here and there. Looking again, a very different scene from what we might see at this time of day, thanks to those showers and storms that we had right over the metro area and the West Bank. A lot of lightning and thunder. You may have heard some really loud thunder claps with that storm over New Orleans. You can see clearly where it has rained and where we have cooled down and where we have not, like at Slidell to Bay St. Louis and some other spots farther south, still in the 90s, like Homa and Galliano. A few of you still reporting triple digit heat indices. Today I saw even the Kenner Airport get to 110 for the heat index before we saw the clouds and the rain help out with the temperatures a little bit. Look at these showers and storms, particularly one just outside of our area. A lot of lightning and thunder, some periods of heavy rain with these storms that we've seen as well. Although again, thankfully not a lot of flooding and so forth with what we saw over New Orleans earlier. Now we're looking mainly quiet across the city and the South Shore itself, aside from way over outside of Kenner, a little downpour there and around Lafitte and Lake Salvador. Also watching Covington, Mandeville, Madisonville, all of you getting some shower and storm action too. some heavy rain. You'll have some gusty winds, maybe up to 30 or so miles per hour, so not damaging, but some gusty wind and around the northern part of Saint Tammany. Now these have been sinking to the south, so we will see whether it actually makes it to some of these hot spots in southern Saint Tammany. You are getting with this outflow boundary with the wind that these thunderstorms generate and send out from their cells. You can see that that is a wind gust that's moving right along the North Shore. So actually helping you with the heat a little bit for those of you uh, who may be feeling that shortly. Our weather set up mostly kind of unstable or unsettled across the southeast and certainly will be in the next couple of days as a long wave trough begins to move in and sends a cool front into our area. We'll talk about that in a second, but quickly downtown New Orleans picked up uh, 0.7 inches of rain with that downpour earlier the airport zero. So even though we had rain in the area, we didn't actually add to our New Orleans rain totals and look how spotty it was. A lot of spots completely missed out or almost completely missed out on the rain as we were looking at that uh, earlier in the day, just kind of scattered about. So really depended whether you were under a downpour or not. Looking quickly into our forecast for tonight and tomorrow, 70s are expected and actually we still have a chance for scattered rain tomorrow into the early wake up time. Tomorrow is maybe the first day in a long time, maybe up to one and a half weeks or more that we won't be surging into the middle 90s for highs. We may get uh, stopped at about 89 or 90 degrees tomorrow because of the rounds of rain expected. So for those of you example around Lockport for tomorrow, we'll say a high around 90. And again, tomorrow we'll be anticipating some rounds of rain. In fact, looking at our flooding rain outlook for tomorrow, notice that we are under that green. That's the marginal risk, not for severe storms, but just for some heavy downpour. So some street flooding might be a possibility under a few spots. So how much rain are we talking? Well, in the next three days, you can see the highest amounts may be right along the coast. The reds correspond to about three inches, blues about one inch, purples about two inches of rain. The thing we'll have to watch is not just for a couple of inches of rain, which I'm sure many of us will get today and uh, well into tomorrow and Tuesday, but really just for those heavier downpours where there will be the chance for some really kind of efficient rain, bringing it really heavy, maybe up to three inches per hour, that kind of rainfall rate that would promote some street flooding. So we'll watch closely tomorrow and into Tuesday. But look at this. That front will bring some drier air. It looks like for the end of the week. So moving through precision cast, this is tomorrow morning. Kind of quiet to start the day, although there could be scattered rain for the early hours. Scattered downpours, not continuous, not raining all day for two days. But you saw the chance for some sort of rain will be high the next couple of days. And then there's the front maybe bringing that drier air into play. The blues are showing that for the end of the week. So it's a little optimistic, but we'll probably get at least a little break in the humidity as well as a slight break in temperatures heading into Thursday and then Friday may still be hot, but again, feeling a little bit drier. One of the best